we just like I reside in Ibado, but I I work around mostly majorly Ibado and Lagos. So um I shoot portraits and events majorly and sometimes depends on the opportunity at every point in time. Maybe I do a little bit of documentary and sometimes um storytelling. Okay, so I'm very glad to be on this platform um, with other great minds and and everybody here. Okay. And Mr. Oh, Doctor, yeah. sir, can you hear me? Oh, I can hear you. Yes, yeah, sir. For cutting you, so I think can you please share your pixel? Like, can you share your screen and share your pixel um pixel profile, like um, your portfolio, with us? So you can share your screen well, with us. Can you see? I'm I'm not sure you can see my video. Okay, I'll try and share my screen. Yeah, please. Okay. Please share your screen. So people can okay, see the great to... things you do. <laughs> great images. Ah, I'm not sure I've been doing great images, so, but at least I've, over the time, I've tried as much as possible to do everything best I can do at every point in time. Even though I still get to look for I still get to look for ways I can improve more on my work and reach a and reach a wider wider audience. And that is what that's one of the major reasons I found myself on this platform called um Pigzo. Okay. Um I'm about to share my screen now. Yes, I go ahead, sir. Okay, I think you have to enable me to share my screen. The same host as disabled participant screen sharing. Hello, all right. Okay, so I am trying to communicate with the team. Okay, I think I can share it now. Okay, now. This is, can you see my screen now? Yes, I can see your screen. Okay, so this is my portfolio, um, my portfolio of Big Zoo, which comprises majorly, mostly of my works, um, portraits, landscapes, um, events and, and documentaries. So is there anything you want me to talk about on the portfolio? No, let's just keep seeing it. I have questions okay. for you later on. Okay. So um I think so what should I so what's the question? Should I am I supposed to answer the questions first? No, no, no. Just go ahead and talk about like your topic. Okay. Now I was asked you to talk about um opportunity how to um hold on. Try to please just give me a minute. Okay, how to how to optimize the opportunities for photographers. Okay. Oh okay, where I would like to start in with I'm just going to talk from my experience as a photographer. As a being a beginner photographer to the stage I am right now, um, I think the first the first opportunity one of one abundant opportunity we have as a photographer is networking because networking has been something that made me that gave me that gave me edge a very big edge in photography. Everything I've been able to do with photography, how wide, how wide my job has gone, my reach, and the people I know is based on networking. And also, at the point from being imagine from a beginner to a what people prefer now as a good photographer, it's as a result of the network I had and the way I've been able to network with people. So I say 
in short, as a photo, as a beginner photographer, before I met along the way, I just tried to look for people who are good, people who do things that I like, even when I've not been doing the kind of work I do now, but I've always had a standard of work I wanted to achieve. So for every point in time I see, I see some people who do those kind of work, I try as much as possible to reach out to them. I try as much as possible to talk to them. Some people respond why some people do not. But for everybody who have responded to me, it has been a very great advantage to, to my work. And to get the opportunity um, as a photographer, but the one thing I wanted to say again is, one thing I wanted to say again is, for what everything you want to do as a photographer, you have to look for, you have to look for people, you have to look for people who are already doing that stuff. So no matter how big it is, no matter how difficult it is, it is already a norm to some people. Then you have to look for these kind of people and talk to them and try and learn from them. It's so much easier to learn from a community where they are already used to a particular that particular thing that you need as a photographer. Maybe you want to you want an opportunity to increase in your to better your skill a certain aspect of your skill, you want, um, want them to give you an opportunity to solve a problem, or you need you even need that opportunity to test your skills on the field. So one of the things I've done as a photographer is look for spaces and people who, this, who are already used to these things that I need. So it's much more easier than doing things on your own if you can network with other photographers who do things you like. It's always much more easier. Now talking about about my one of the recent opportunities I had as a photographer. Um, of recent, I was opportunate to meet um, my mentor, um, Kelechia Madjubi. Hello, are you listening to me? Yes, I am. That's what I want to hear. Okay. okay. So one of the major thing that happened recently was the opportunity to meet Kelechia Madjubi. But yeah, this meeting, well, the meeting we had, that was not the first time I was going to meet him. I only met him like two years ago. Um, even I met at a, at a Nikon school training there, even Mr. Richard was there. I think, I think Mr. Richard was there. Kilecha Madi was there, uh, Mr. Paul was there with some other notable photographers. But then we just really had the opportunity, I just had, really had the opportunity to just um, do pleasantries. But this time I had the opportunity to meet him and visit him in his studio to get some knowledge for him. But before getting the opportunity to meet um, Mr. Kilecha Madi, something there was a something there's something in between okay um like i that was why i started uh, my conversation with your network the kind of people you work the kind of photographers you work with the kind of photographers you roll with you it influences who you become a lot now i i use social media a lot and i use my platform to reach out to as many photographers as possible Photographers I learned from, photographers who learned from me. So even as a beginner, there are a lot of things I didn't believe were possible, which is one of which happened to me since meeting somebody as big as Kilitamadi. If you told me that would happen to me like three years ago, I would have told anybody it's practically impossible. You're talking about somebody, what you know, photographer in me, just from a corner of one city in Southwest. Now going to him, sitting down with him for a two days, paying full attention to me, I will have said it is practically impossible. But the network I've had recently has shaped has shaped my ideology into this thing, which has made me realize that these things are very possible. You just need the opportunity. You just need you just need to be ready to take advantage of this opportunity when you present yourself. So I follow quite a number of photographers, and I see people winning, winning grants. I've, I have a colleague who I follow him on social media. He has won grants in terms of money, in terms of um, guests, even in terms of 
um, just uh, some other gifts, just by pushing his work out there and applying for these opportunities. Then I have like two colleagues like that who I follow closely who had such opportunities. I have a colleague who had the opportunity to travel out based on this photography without paying a dime, just showing, pushing out your work and being able to defend what you do. So this two set of guys shaped my agenda. I felt like if this thing can happen, if this thing can happen, then for somebody like me, for the kind of, for the level of my work, for what I've attained, then I don't see a reason why I should not have this kind of, also, why I should not also benefit from this kind of opportunity. That I was not even planning, I was, this, um, I was, I never even thought it was going to be this kind of opportunity I enjoyed with Kili Germany, but along the line, then I saw this, um, techno, it, this techno challenge, asking photographers to do a video or put out their work and talk about it for one minute, then you get the opportunity. And I just felt like this is one of these things. I knew there's, I knew there were going to be a lot of photographers applying for the board. I just feel like, let me do this. If I don't try it, then I can't really know if I'm, whether I'm going to win or not. Then I tried, I tried, I made the entry, and the rest is just a, the story of what it is. And then I was contacted when I made the final list by Techno. Even they had already reached out to me their email, which for some reason I did, I was not aware until they had to come, they had to DM me in my inbox, in my Instagram, like you are part of the final list. Can you provide some information for us? And I did that. Even when I won, I'd not even received any official um, communication from them before people started commenting on that techno post on their ID, congratulating me that I'd won. So I just shared this story just to make people realize that these things are possible. I was able to, I got this opportunity not because I know anybody and not because, not even because I'm the best photographer out there. But you, for the kind of networks I had, it has made me believe these things are possible. And I just went straight for it. And this has further strengthened me in other things I do. Like currently, I'm, I'm, organizing, I'm organizing a workshop which people, some people feel, man, maybe it's too early or uh, it's too big, but I feel like is still something that can happen. And I've even contacted other people to be part of the workshop. And surprisingly, they agreed, which made me like this. The only opportunity that you can have is the one you have not tried in my, in my experience. So if for every photographer out there looking for an opportunity, hoping to get an opportunity, maybe in terms of sponsorship, maybe in terms of grants, maybe in terms of um, in whatever kind of opportunity you have. The first thing is you need to be in a circle where they believe it's possible. You need to be in a circle. You need to follow people who believe it's possible so that this also improve your own mindset. And you also, you must be ready to try all these, um, these opportunities. You must be ready to try them out once they come so that you can you can benefit, and you must also try to, if you're pushing out your work there, you must try as much as possible to push it out in the best form. So, because there are a lot of people, they apply for the same opportunity. So this, you must try as much as possible to be convincing or to anyone who might be seeing your work. Because I remember when I was making my entry, I spent the whole day on it just to make a one minute video collating my work together and putting a voice to it. But I just like, I want to try this thing. That's the first thing. I wanted this opportunity now. I have a chance. Then let me give it a try. And I was just ready to give it up. So I think that's the best word to, what I can share about this. And if any other question, then I'll be, able to, maybe my make me talk about some more areas. All right. Yes, uh, Hanye. 
So thank okay. you so much, sir. That was a great one. So do you have any other things to say, like to let us know about how you built your brand and then to this point, or then you have a key word, a key thing you've learned that you want to share with other photographers? You can just go ahead. Okay. Okay, in short, how I built my brand, this point, though I'm still building my brand, it's not even where I want it to be, but how I built it to this point, like I said earlier, my most of the way I've built my brand to this point, one key thing I've, I've leveraged and maximized on is networking. If I, like, a short, let me just give you a short story. As a beginner, I didn't know anything, I didn't even know how to reach out to photographers out there. So I was just, I just started photography on my own, looking at YouTube, watching YouTube videos and doing things on myself. But at a point I realized there are people out there doing great stuff. Then little by little, I started reaching out to people. I go to, then as a beginner, if there's a seminar, in town and i feel like their yeah, like minds will be there i go there and the moment i see photographers who are doing good work, i introduce myself to them i'm a photographer some people will not attend to you they might be busy or they might not have their time but for everyone for everybody i've tried to network it and for everybody who attended to me they've added a great deal of opportunity to me at a point in time, I was struggling with my work and I needed to get I needed to get better. Okay, then it was someone who I met saw my problem and knew exactly what I need and who could help me achieve unlock the level I wanted to unlock that time. Then the person referred me to one of my mentors, like this guy is willing to learn more in his photography. Can you teach him? Then this person took me as a student and brushed me up in some areas of my photography. I paid, it's not free. I paid. Then just being with this person for a very little time changed a whole lot of things. There are, as photographers, there are a lot of things we do not know. There's a difference between being a photographer and uh, being in the business of photography, you everybody has access to cameras these days. But I must tell you, you can't compare your experience because you have money to buy the best camera today. You cannot compare experience to somebody who has been in this business for ten years, for fifteen years. And when I see this kind of people, I don't, I don't take it for granted. When I see this kind of people, I go all out to introduce myself to them and meet them. Even some of them. I offer my services to them if I can ask. So far, I see what I want to learn from you. I'm willing to I'm willing to render my assistance to you. For that point in time, I render my assistance. I show you that I'm useful. I'm not just coming to take from you. I show you that I'm useful. Why then? I also learn from you. That's how I've always um I've always that's how my journey has always been. I was opportunity to meet. Uh, Mr. Paul or DJ in person, just based because I I made sure I put myself in his network. When I had my chance to introduce myself to him, I was ready. Um, he has he has a group where he mentors for the young photographers, and I just felt like it's an opportunity to move closer to this man. For every opportunity I have to move closer to other photographers, I use it. So one of the one of the key things is networking, and it has really helped me a lot. Networking is that one I I would advise photographers to take it seriously because it's not really what we learn when we go for classes that really that says a lot. But the kind of people you meet and the kind of if you are in a room where everybody is doing great work. And you align yourself with those people. There's no how your work won't be better. There's no how you won't know better. And if you're in a room where everybody is just below average and they believe just any out picture is a good picture, they just they just believe, just take the image like that. You always you won't you always you also remain at that level. And you even you won't see you won't even see that a next level exists or a greater level exists. You won't even see talk less of 
trying to climb up the ladder. So uh, one thing I can advise is networking is very great. All right, you there? Yes, I'm here. So I'd like to say a very big thank you. So for those who just joined us, I invited Mr. Dotomi Ale. He's one of Pixel's photographers. Mr. Paul is also one of Pixel's photographers. So, so one thing I've learned, one thing from this session is network, meet with people, be humble. And that thing again is you have to perceive yourself as someone who is valuable. Tell them what you can do. This is how I can help you. If you know this person, you will definitely learn from this person. Connect with the person, offer your services. When you go for meetings, don't just sit at the back and wink in the dark. You have to shine what you like, your light. You have to talk to people. Meet with people, meet with people of value. Check, connect to people, connect with photographers on Instagram. Put out your work there, put it in the best form. If it's for you to learn, pay to learn. Everything cannot come to you free of charge. And pay to learn, join, join groups and everything. Hi, David, Esther, I guess it's your network. Please, can you all hear me? Let me know in the comment section. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. I can hear you. So thank you so much, Mr. Dotson. Thank you so much, Mr. Dotson. So do you have any questions yeah. for him? So we can take the question. Just type your question out. Okay, so um, Ebenezer, Ebenezer has that. Is there any security for our pictures? Oh, sorry, he's asking Pixel. So. Yes, they oh, have. Yeah. Yes, they have. Yes, they have. We'll answer this question later. Yes, they have. You can save in the Pixel Cloud and it's secured and safe. So please, if you have any question for him, can you type in comment, but if you want to connect with him, let him know and everything. So please, you have just a few minutes more for this session before we move, before we move to another one, before we move to the next session. Please let me know if we have questions for him. Can we move on to our next session? Thank you, Mr. Dutton. Thank yeah, you thank so, very so much. much thank you for thank you for okay. bringing me here. Thank you for inviting me. Someone asked that, is there any platform to find networking opportunities? Um, one of the major net, um, platforms to find networking opportunities as for me, for me is social media. If you use your social media very well, you meet you meet other people. You meet other people, you follow follow people. If you like their works and if there's something you feel you can learn from them, enter their DMs and talk to them. Comment, comment their work. Everybody wants to hear good words about what they do. Then tell them if you like to learn from them. And if there are people who are available to teach you, to tell you things, they will tell you. And even if they can't, by following them alone, you will learn one or two things. Just seeing, constantly seeing good works. It will motivate you to do better work. And one of the one of the platforms I use to network most majorly is um, um, the bed app called Twitter. There, I have I have a lot of I have a lot of um, photographers I interact with there, and I can't count the number of times we've assisted each other in solving different kind of problems as regards photography business, even problems outside taking pictures but which are photograph related quite a number of times we've assisted each other even at times i go to other other um cities to shoot i've called on people's help okay i'm around here yeah. can you help me for this can you help me for this social media is one of the very good platforms you can use to network that's one i'm very sure of yeah 
That me rest. I think I can, yeah, I guess it's your network. Probably have to leave and then join again. I'm so sorry about that. It can't even, yeah. Thank you so much, Mr. Dutton. Thank you so much. Yeah, I learned a lot from this session. Probably I'll become a photographer someday. Thank you no. so much. <laughs> now you. we move on to the next session. Please, I'm coming. Yes, I can stop sharing your screen. And for you to create a um, portfolio like that of Mr. Dotson, the link has been dropped in the chat box. You can create your portfolio. It's free of charge. It's totally free. You can sign up for free. There's no issues. You can just sign up using the link. And please sign up as a photographer. So right now, move on to the next session. We'll have a speaker, one of the best in the field, Mr. Richard. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, Mr. Richard. Hello. Hello, Dr. Hi, how are you doing? Fine, sir. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, your discussion are uh, quite interesting. Thanks. So, <laughs> so I was part of the part of the trail of the story. You mentioned my name. I was wondering. That's right. Uh, yeah, how are we doing? Fine. Great to great to be part of it. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Hi guys. Hi everybody um, on the platform today. Um, you're welcome to Pixel. Um, this is one of our key um, attributes or um, deliverables to the people on the platform, which is um, quality education through networking, through workshops, and through discussions. We're pleased and we're very happy to have you all here. Thank you for coming. Um, today I'm talking about, um, my topic is um, growth in collaboration. And I'll quickly be sharing my screen because um, time is of the essence. But once more, thank you for being here. Share my screen. Thank you, Mr. Richard. I look forward to learning from me. Trying to share my screen here. Uh, okay, can you see my screen? Hello? Yes, yes I can see your screen. Awesome. So um, we're talking on growth in collaboration. Um, essentially, what is growth? Growth is um, defined as an irreversible constant increase in the size of an organization, individual, whatever it may be. But in the re regards to what we're talking about, it's concerning your business as a photographer or a cinematographer. With respect to collaboration, growth is um, very, 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 very interesting when it's done the right way. But today, um, I'll be taking a different direction, two in a different direction, I mean. And uh, I will be talking to you about, because of time, two um, well-respected photographers in the industry. Um, some may say, why am I talking about um, foreigners and the likes? But you see, the interesting thing is, um, um, whosoever is doing well, it's always a reference point. So I'll be talking about two photographers today. Quickly, I won't be going into too much detail, but my, I believe my sharing or talking about them will cause you to go and find out about them because um, um, I realize a lot of photographers do not know um, a number of photographers outside. Not that they can't, but they don't see the reason um, to and of which it will inspire them to go a long way. Uh, one of my mentors happens to be a mentee to one of them. So I'll, I'll kick off my next slide. Next slide. 
Let's hold on. Yes. This is Mario Testino. Mario Testino um, is widely regarded as one of the most influential fashion and portrait photographers. His, photo his photographs have been published internationally in magazines such as Vogue, V, Vanity Fair. He has contributed to the success of leading fashion and beauty houses, leading fashion and beauty houses, creating images for brands, individuals, um, music um, platforms, and the likes. And I mean, this man has been everywhere. He is widely regarded also as a, um, a creative director. Also, he started, uh, yeah, I believe in 1976, if I can remember clearly, 1976, and he kicked off with uh, a, another outfit in the UK. And he's been known to do so, 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 so much in this world of photography. He was born in Peru in 1954 to a traditional Catholic family, actually. And um, he came to the UK on 1976. Uh, it was during this appre his apprenticeship at um, John, Vicar, and, and Paul, and um, Paul, um, yeah, if I can remember very, Paul Nugget, that he made his first attempt as a photographer. Inspired by how photog photography masters do documented the society of their times, his career became tentative with a commissioning to photograph a girl's headquarters in British Vogue. Um, if I can remember, I remember he, he came across Vogue in, I think, 1983. I believe a lot of you know what Vogue is. Vogue is um, a well-known and well-respected fashion magazine. Now, the essence, the reason why I'm bringing this, um, the, these points up is to show you the sheer importance of collaborating. But before collaborating, definitely, as like Mr. Omiole has said, your portfolio should have been in place. Collaboration requires um, proof of work for you to show whosoever you're collaborating with, be it in a personal project or a commission project. People will regard your work when you have put something together. In Testino's case, he kicked off by photographing, I think it was a stylist's hair, and they saw promise in his pictures. Now, he has shot so many works that if we start here, we won't be able to leave. Um, in this slide um, is the picture of um, the eye and lips and nose of a famous model called Kate Moss. In fact, Kate Moss was Tessino's muse, um, music, which is your subject um, in art or painting, you could call it um, the person you, you paint or in photography, the person you photograph often. Just because Kate Moss is used by Tessino to create images, it influenced the brands to adopt Kate Moss as their brand ambassadors or their top mo uh, high models, top models. And you know, in those days until now, models are usually uh, five foot nine and above. It must is five seven. And Tessino liked her because she is kind of vicious in front of the camera. She knows how to work her face, work her body, work her posture. Need me say more. She is awesome in front of the camera. So despite her being short for a woman on the model um, on the runway, Kate Moss will enter any runway at her prime. Currently, she runs a modeling agency. But the amount of money she's made from brands, from perfumes to makeup to fabrics to fashion houses and the likes came as a result of not just her hard work, but from Mario Testino, the regard and respect he has gathered. And that's where most of you are going to, if you take the relevant steps to move your career forward and not wait for clients to come and meet you. Because what happens, what's happening um, today is that a lot of photographers are sitting back and waiting for jobs. 
I mean, there's nothing wrong in praying for jobs where you can cause people to come and meet you by creating work. And um, um, because of time, I'll quickly say, commissioned work is fantastic, but what keeps commissioned work coming is uncommissioned work. Uncommissioned work causes clients to come look for you because the uncommissioned work is the work you create from your heart and people can see and interpret and feel you as a result of those works. And that's why they want to commission you. So I encourage everybody listening today to please, please, please work on your personal projects. Work on what you love doing in photography. While a client is not calling you, be creating something. What are you creating when client is not there? I tell you, this is the heart, this is the bane of most photographers. Be you a wedding photographer, find a lady with, or find a dress, find a lovely model, find a groom, and make shots. Be you an event person, find locations you can shoot, make deals with the owners of the place, and create shots. Imagine you going to uh, a, a center and saying that um, you want to um, take shots, or um, that's like a hall create shots there, and you give them some of the shots. If you do such, if they have an event, who will be the first person, and they like your pictures, who will be the first person they will think of or consider? They will say, ah, this guy contributed to our business, and his shots are nice. Let's call him. You have some consideration. Even if you're not called, eventually, those pictures will pay you off. So the question now is, what are you doing in the absence of client? What are you doing in the absence of clients? These are core questions you need to answer as a result of our discussion today. Now, in this slide, you can see Kate Moss. Although you don't know her, but um, I hope you go and research. Um, the next picture next to her is Madonna. Um, Mario Tassino has shot so many images of Madonna and as a result of that has built a relationship. Even without um, um, outfits, uh, music labels and likes, that relationship he has, he can call Madonna anytime and they would create something. When, when they create something, they can now think of which, which outfits would, build, would, would bear the bill. Tell you, it happens that way. They could look at the shots and say, okay, let's talk to Henneken. Henneken could foot the bills in this area if they want to use it for a project. That is how influential, influential they are. And you know, your influence rubs off on the next person working with you. And networking takes place, just like what Mr. Mioli said. So what am I saying? It is essential that you start off your own projects. Testino would have gotten nowhere if he wasn't shooting his own personal projects. He shot everybody. He's, he's a friend of the royal family. So that is how influential you can get as a result of your personal project. The next slide shows Testino's, um, oh, a, a little a pinch of the bouquet of, of, of um, Vogue and other magazines he shot for. Vanity Fair, V, Mary Claire, you name it, you cannot count the amount of covers Mario Tessino has shot and is constantly shooting. You know, I mean, he's that influential. You can say, okay, that's Kate Moss at the bottom when you count one, two, three, four, with her head tilted. And you have, I mean, he's met everybody as a result of the love for what he does. I mean, he gets paid millions of dollars, but you can see he actually started shooting this kind of work for free, fashion and portrait photography. So what am I trying to say? Drive yourself, if you really love what you're doing, to shoot your own projects. The next slide, also a continuation of his works. I mean, uh, you can see tones, you can see colors. I mean, he plays with colors. He's, I, I, I put it this way. Um, the, the, the talent of other people complements your work. 
as a result of collaboration. So many colors, but still popping out a lovely picture. For time? Okay, the next photographer, Vincent Versace. Vincent Versace is an international recognized pioneer in arts and digital photography. His passion for natural light photography is manifest not only in his work, but also through his role as a creative and technical leader. I mean, Versace, I recall, was amongst the first 16 uh, Nikon ambassadors, and he's a tireless worker. Vincent's works have been highlighted in American photo, popular photography, um, the New York Times, Shutterbug, Outdoor Photographer, Pro Digit Imaging, PDG, um, What Digital Camera. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. He's an author of the best selling books from Oz to Kansas. Almost every black and white technique known to mankind are welcome to Oz 2.0. His cinematic approach to digital still works and Photoshop. His book, Welcome to Us, has been selected as Shutterbox Magazine's best how-to how to book of the year. Vincent was the original host of Epson Print Academy and is a founding member of Epson Stylus Pro. In addition to being a Nikon ambassador, he's also a Nikon legend behind the lens. An x ray color, col colorotti, hive light master, sun bounce and lighter, Lexa Alexa Elite Photographer, I mean, it goes on and on and on. He's been doing this for over th three decades. Also, and Testino. Now, the essence of sharing these um, works of these men is to show you the sheer importance of collaboration. He wouldn't be associated with all these brands if he didn't take the initiative to start collaborating either with brands or with specialists around him. He's known for his um, natural pictures um, with a um, natural light, which I will share some with you right now, but he's indeed a master. This is an image of um, the Eiffel Tower, which he created in black and white. He loves a lot of black and white. He loves black and white images. In fact, the more you look at his pictures, eventually you come to see um, his sheer love for black and white. I mean, for me, this is an awesome image. The next slide. This is a picture from um, the South Americas. Can't remember which country it is, but uh, you can see that the colors are very arty. And this is how he likes his picture. Some people in Nigeria will say, oh, the picture is not sharp, blah, blah, blah. But you see, this picture says something. This picture communicates with people, and this is one of his very popular images. Here's a picture of um, the Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal is a the heavy, it's a serious um, um, spot in, in India. It's a serious, um, yeah, a tourist location in India, visited by so many people. And he got it in a very unconventional um, view, vis-a-vis -vis what everybody would shoot. And you can see it's a bit hazy, and um, that takes away a lot of detail. But the angle is what is captivating for me, and also the activities taken happening around the other exterior surroundings of the Taj Mahal. So quickly, because of time, how do we cut it? Steps you can take. First, be proactive. Like we just said, excuse me. It's essential that we are up and doing what we want to do, be it whatever kind of photography. And I must say at this point, In our previous um, 
webinar, we talked about carving out a niche. What makes it work for you is for you also to find out what you enjoy doing. What you enjoy doing. What do you enjoy doing in photography? You've got to ask yourself, you've got to be sincere with yourself. What drives you? Don't follow the status quo. Because when you are in, a, in um, the most common areas of photography, what happens is this. You compete based on time, quality, and cost. But when you find a spot for yourself, what happens to you? That no one is there. Everybody knows you for that kind of photography that no, not too many people are doing, and they still ask you for the common ones. So please be proactive. Find where you belong or what you enjoy doing best, because you do it seamlessly. To rush, okay, be picky. Be picky about who you work with. Think of comfort for all. Create your dream list of clients you want to shoot or kind of work you want to create. Shoot a portfolio to attract your ideal clients. That's like, as we said, create content to show your expertise. Follow the brands you want to work with closely. There's strategic ways of doing that. Teach yourself. You've got to go there if need be to meet the people who are in charge to make this come to life. And always remember how much value you can offer them. So uh, my time is up. Um, in order for us to take enough questions or have enough time for the next speaker, um, I want to say a big thank you for being here. Um, we're grateful for your presence, but please take the adequate steps. Action is key. Thank you. Wow, wow, wow. That was a great one. That was a great one. Thank you so much, Mr. Richard, for sharing with us. Thank you for sharing the steps you can take in order to attain that growth that we want. And one thing I will tell you today, I keep saying after our webinar, you all feel pumped up, but one important thing you should do is put to practice all that you've learned. Mr. Richard said thing to offer value, connect with people, move with people you want to be, move with them closely. You know you want to be probably someday be greater than Kilechi. You need to move close to him. You need to see his work, learn. And keep learning, keep learning, and then collaborate with people. Thank you so much, Mr. Richard. That was a great one. So I'm taking questions. You can send your questions to the chat box, and then you want to unmute, kindly unmute, and then talk if you want to say something. We don't have enough time. We're moving on to the next speaker. So please kindly drop your question. If you're not answering me, are you learning something? Let me know how it is. Just type in the chat box if you've learned something so we'll know how to flow. Should I call names? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Dutton. Amatayo, Favor, Raman, David. Are you all learning something? Samson, Samuel, Raman. You push it, please let us know in the chat box how it is going. Please, can you drop your questions? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, you can connect with him. Thank you so much. Okay, fine. So I, I guess no one, you don't have any question for us. So one thing and that thing again is you just have to connect and then collaborate with people. That's how it is now. Things are happening. So you just have to connect and collaborate. Right now, we're not the next speaker. Our next speaker is Stephen Kelechi Umadike. Stephen is a co-founder of Pixel Technologies. And you know this webinar, this yellow room series is brought to you by Pixel Technologies. So Stephen is a co-founder of Pixel Technologies, and then he'll be sharing with us things that we should know, things that we should know as a photographer in the tech space, things that we should see opportunities 
the, the ahead of us. Steven, you can go ahead. Bravo. Mm -hmm. Hi, guys. Um, so let me on my camera so that I'm not in the dark. Who is this? <laughs> Let me change. Let me change my background a bit. <laughs> uh, let okay, them know. Leave me. Let them know we have something for them. <laughs> if you cannot afford to buy camera, don't leave. Let us know right, we so, have something for them. All right. Can you please share my slide, please? Okay. I will. Sorry, I have issues sharing, but then we'll share very soon. So you can just say something if you want to say anything. So while we share your screen. Steven, you're on mute. Sorry, I didn't know I was on mute. So it is my pleasure being here today. I mean, um, um, when, when we wanted to start the Yellow Series, basically, I, I didn't even, I was not part of the people that planned it. Ore and the team, they planned it all. And the idea basically is actually how we can engage with our community, right? Because the truth is that for everything that one is doing, you have to build a community around it. So Pixel is, um, yeah, in as much as it's my brainchild, it's no longer a company that I am alone invested in. I mean, as you can see, Ore is extremely active on the community groups that we have. We have many people working in the background that you could not even know about. Like we have developers in the team that are also vested in this product. We also have uh, marketers, like people that are actually pushing this thing to make it happen. Like for me today, I was told to come and speak about uh, Pixel and how technology can actually help photographers to take their business to the next level. So um, to tell a bit of a backstory, Pixel was started two years ago. Um, it was just really a million idea. So, me, myself, I'm, I'm not actually a photographer, but I'm a very creative person. It's not like I wouldn't want to be a photographer, but I wanted to be, I, I love solving problems, right? I love solving problems. And one of the problems I looked at and found that it needs for me to work with other people to solve is um, photography, how we can leverage technology and solve the issue of photography, right? So that is what uh, Pix is all about, basically solving problems for photographers. Right. So in the short time of us starting this thing, we have been able to get investors that are actually invested in the business. We have been also been able to get some very cool partners that are actually uh, in partnership with us to build this brand. And also we have been, we are like, we are excited and happy that we have photographers even coming for our yellow series and basically for us to like, banter and talk about how we can actually help them and how we can help them grow their brand. So that's it for me. Um, then um, I have some things, I, I some slides I put up to kind of talk about like what is, I mean, people know about Pixel, but people don't know what Pixel can help them do. Some people are still like, it's just like when you're in a classroom, remember if you, let's say if some of us that went to university, right? When you're in the classroom, you will, you will notice that Sometimes, like me, I used to be a backbencher. You know, as much as I'm smallish, I don't like staying in the front. I like staying in the back of the seat. So sometimes when I come into class, I don't get to understand some of the things the lecturer is talking about. So I'm not the fickle, fickle type like Ore that always sit in front of the class. I know me personally, I used to sit at the back then when I was in school. And sometimes when I come, I don't even really understand what the child is talking about. And I would have loved a situation whereby there is a, a, a people that don't understand how things are done, how can we now put them up to speed? So that's one of the reasons we created this thing to put people up to speed about Pixel. So I uh, would like to share my screen. Um, or I can't share my screen though, I've been able to share my screen. Hello, Ore. Hello. Yeah, no, Steven. So I'm trying to share my screen for you. Or, or do you want to go ahead to share? 
Yeah, but I'm disabled to share my own screen. Sorry. Let's make you. And Stephen, you can go ahead to share your screen. Have you been able to disable me? Like, am I disabled? Yes, you are. Okay, sorry. All right. Okay, so um, forgive me guys, I like working from home. <laughs> so this is it. I hope everybody can see my screen, please. Yes, I can see your screen. All right, cool. So basically, um, what we do at Pixie is very simple. We, we basically say we are just wanting in a sentence, right? We're a digital back office um, helping um, to make photograph to make photography careers um, profitable, organized, increase growth in revenue and customer loyalty, right? And how do we do this? So we have um, several features, right, that we have created for, to help photographers get these things done, right? Because some of the things we found out is that as photographers, most photographers rely on um, rely on Instagram, rely on different platforms for them to do their stuff. So, but we created an, a one-stop shop for them to do everything to promote their business, right? From um, showcasing what they do, their portfolio and all that to also um, showcasing their brand. And also we have also created like a place where you can store your images, like a secure story system, which is being backed by AWS, that's Amazon Web Services. So, and also we have, um, we also give, we are also an enabler for you to uh, market your, yourself and market the business that you do. So this is where you see a digital marketer and personal assistant. So what this thing means as a digital marketer or personal assistant for you, what we mean is that we can actually help you to um, promote your business more where you, if you're on our platform, right? So um, that is what we do and um, how we do? How do we do this? I will now go straight to probably show you like a live demo of our of someone on our platform, right? Because let me show you some people that have not even created their account, set up their portfolio, uploaded stuff on their Pixel Cloud. I can do that. I just show you how it's done here. All right, let me log out and log in again. So um, it's just basically simple as. You so when you are, if you want to create an account, the first thing they will ask you is, are you a photographer? Or you want to have a photography? Obviously, we are the target audience first is the photographer. So you can create your account by clicking on me photographer and set up your name, put your password, put your business name, and you are up and running, right? Um, but if you are already, um, let's say you already created the account, so you just want to start. Um, you want to log in and like look at the features that you can use on Pixel. This is where it's done. So once you log in, you go to my accounts. All right, cool. So in my accounts, there are different sections here. So we have um, get started. Get started is like a place for you to to showcase that okay, if this person have completely up updated their their profile. So what is your profile? Profile is your digital footprint, like your bio data on Pixel. So this is where you do that. Um, you put the about you, you put, you can upload your ID card. You can also increase your profile strength, right? Um, as you are doing all this thing, your profile strength is increasing. Then you can put a profile cover, 
for the homepage slider. That's the image that's sliding on our platform right now. And also you can put your personal data in here, right? So you go back to your My Account section. So in the My Account section, you have, um, so once you are done getting, you're done setting up, you will see this thing tell you that profile setup completed, almost done, right? So you can now share your work with the world. So once you copy this link and you send it to anyone, this is how it's going to appear. Yeah, simple and, simple and straightforward. They can see your portfolio purely arranged properly. They can even see your pricing packages. So if you have a pricing package, you can actually even create, you can create your pricing package. I'm still going back there, but this is like your, your own, uh, uh, what's it called? This is your own, uh, we call it storefront. And we actually, I'm going to go to a place where we have a new design of how your storefront looks like. It's going to look like in the next coming weeks. Um, so let me go back to the home page, sorry. So this is your booking. So people will come on the platform and book you. So once someone, once you share your link, people can actually book you with your link. And once they book you, this is where you will, this is where the bookings will land, right? So when it lands here, what will you do? You have to create an invoice for the person, right? So this thing now is, a, is an invoice, is the dummy invoice we created called uh, Mary's Wedding, right? And I hope Mary gets married very, very soon. So. In this particular place, what you're supposed to do is create an invoice for the person, just like the same way people use Weave to create invoice or use different uh, Accantia or which other one again. There are many, there are many platforms where you can create invoices, but we try to bring everything all in one place here on Pixel. So you can edit your, you can, after you are done creating your invoice, let's say someone, you know, there's so many back and forth in photography. People are going to come to do a lot of back and forth and all that. So. Once they start doing that back and forth, you can even still edit the, edit the invoice and add what they want you to add preview, right? This is the preview. You can send the invoice to the client, right? So let me go back. Um, go back. So here you can see invoices that are pending. That's jobs that are pending. So right now there's no pending booking, right? Because he has, he has created an invoice for this person. Um, also, we have um, ongoing. So on this ongoing, we have people that are doing, uh, we, we, on this ongoing, these are the uh, invoices that are currently, the jobs that you currently have at hand, right? Completed, there's no, you currently have no completed booking. So because he has not executed those jobs and those are dummy data, he's still not complete. That's why he's showing this, right? Go back. So he's showing how these things like a, this pending, Ongoing completed cancel shows the different stages that you are when trying to do business with the clients, right? So enabling you to have a, an organized, um, detailed way for you to track all your invoices, track all your bookings, and actually know how much is entering into your account, right? So when, let's go straight to the portfolio, right? Portfolio is simply basically your portfolio. That the, the, that's the work you do. You can upload images, you can upload, uh, this, is, this is like a food, a, a food portfolio. You can upload, you can upload wedding pictures, fashion, corporate. This is actually even a video that they, should, they did for me. So these are some of the things that you can actually do on our platform. Sorry, I think I want to see if I can play this video. Okay, something is blocking my. Something is actually this uh, chat is blocking. Like I would have loved to play this video. Um, so let me go back. So Pixel Cloud, Pixel Cloud is basically like your, should I call it like your dump, like a place where you can dump your images or your videos, anything that you want to dump here. As you can see here, there are different albums here. You can select your albums based on the oldest. So when we do the oldest, you see end police brutality. This is far back as end SAS, right? You will see as you can even arrange them in ascending order or descending order based on like alphabetical order and stuff, right? Then um, in this place, you can actually create 
upload a new media. Let's say you want to create a new album. You can create an album here, put the album name and create a new album and start dumping your pictures. So, and you can have as much as 15 gig free for the very first start. Then um, if you want to have like 100 gig, one terabyte, once you start paying for your subscription, you can start having that as large as amount of any, any uh, class storage you want to have. Availability. So I don't know if any of us uses, uses Google, uh, what's it called, um, uh, Google Calendar, or we use Apple Calendar, or even uh, uh, there are different scheduling apps out there that you can use to schedule your day and schedule your shoots and all that. So this place basically is for you to schedule, to know when you are available, right? So the users on their own side, are going to see your availability. Right, so no, okay, this day, this photographer is not available. Like showing you that you, this person have a traditional shoot, traditional wedding shoot on 23rd and 24th of the month, right? So they can know your availability, meaning that you are, they will know that you are, you are actually a brand, you're organized and you know what you are doing. So this is what the um, availability is for. So you can actually know, like if I click here now, you show you have traditional white wedding on that day. So let's go to pricing package. So pricing package is where you now create your own pricing packages. Like all photographers have their pricing packages, right? Even uh, on because on the pixel, we have an agency, right? Where we actually even, uh, because people come to us to give us jobs. So once they bring those jobs, we now take those jobs to get photographers that are already on our platform, already on our community. So you can actually be able to see, you can actually be able to create your own pricing packages on this particular place. And it's very, very easy. It's extremely easy. Um, we are actually even creating videos that we now teach people how to easily use our platform. It's going to be premiering very soon, probably by next week or so. You're going to see how to set up your platform, how to set up your, all these things that I'm talking about right now. So this is also the subscription plan for you to see um, the subscription that you are on. So this person is actually on a subscription, right? So that is actually how the Pixel platform works. And um, so let me go back to my slide. All right, so um, by the coming weeks, we are going to unveil a new, um, a new, a new side of pixel we call the storefront. So the storefront is like, I don't know if any of you use Shopify, where you can go and create your own website and all that. So we created um, it, something called the pixel storefront. Storefront is like your own website, your own uh, uh, digital space where you can do, people can see your work, see your portfolio availability, pricing package. It's just like the old one I showed you, but a well more designed one, like something that is way more in, good and way more you can even put your um twitter handle instagram handle uh your you can see messages and all that and people can see your link they can actually share and book you with your link they can know how many views that you have total likes the kind of camera that you use the category of shoots that you are into right and also you can check your portfolio name know when you're available and know your pricing so these values are what we are trying to give to photographers and uh, because and this is the reason why we feel that you should actually be part of our community or be part of our uh, subscribers right so we have a mission to um, change the position of, of Africa whereby because the world the 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 world out there or the 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 Europeans and some other uh, developed countries they see Africa as based, based on what is being portrayed in the public like okay that Africa is suffering we are hungry we are this one, we are that, not knowing that there are so many beautiful things that image makers are capturing in Nigeria. So Pixel is trying to be that platform that will portray that beautiful images to the public so that we can, they can change the perception of how they see Africa. And we won't want to work with visual storytellers to make this thing a possibility by, so that we can work with them to retell the African story. That's what we're trying to achieve in Pixel, right? Because it's, for us, yes, money is also good, but it's not all about the money. This is the mission that is driving us every day, that is making us to push beyond our limits and get things done, right? So uh, we also plan to be an enabler, right? For, to help um, photographers be a digital powerhouse, like be a brand, be, be like a brand of their own. We all hear about Kalisha Madiobi and different photographers. 
we want to be that uh, community that we put photographers in that same limelight, right? And why again should we join us? Pixel have over 1,700 photographers on our registered on our platform, and we are still growing. We are looking at getting at least before end of the year 3,000 to 2,005 to 3,000 photographers on our platform. And another reason is that we just closed um, a partnership with Canon. And this is a global partnership for us, right? And it has given us the recognition and validation that Pixel is actually the place to be with. And uh, we, with all this partnership and us working with these uh, uh, brands to build the ecosystem of creative industry, we believe that we have what it takes to take um, photographers to the future of the world. Because I mean, there is a lot of there is a lot of um, people are asking and getting scared with with camera. We camera phones take over the um, photo, uh, take over uh, the jobs of photographers. I don't think so. I think photography is all, is all about st story, visual storytelling, right? It's about the uh, photographers are artists. They are not just um, it's not just about point and shoot, right? That is why when Richard was talking, he spoke about um, people going to going out of their way to go and do their own shoots without having, you don't have to wait for it to be permission. If you're a creative, if you're an, an artist, you should not wait when someone uh, uh, pay you or you want to go and do an event shoot. I know that all of us have to survive in Nigeria. I mean, we have to make ends meet, but I've seen so far from the survey that we have seen, we have seen so far that people that are actually surviving in the photography industry are people that are artistic in nature, people that they love photography, they go to shoot not because of the uh, the money that they will be paid all about because it is their, it is something that they love. It's a passion for them, right? So this is some of the things that we want to work with you guys to be able to make make the world understand that there are beautiful things happening in Africa, right? That is you know when you go to Google, you don't have to see pictures of children with kwashoko, pictures of hunger, pictures of war. We can actually see pictures of people celebration. Pictures of people that like pictures of beautiful things in the world. There are different places around Africa, around Nigeria that have not been captured and people have not seen. And we believe that photographers can do that. So this is the reason why we are actually building this platform. And we want to partner with all photographers here today to make this thing a possibility. Thank you very much. And this is the end of my section. I hope we uh, enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, please, I'm available to answer. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, Stephen, for that. That was a great session. I learned a lot about Pixel. So it's, this is the best time for you to. This is the best time for you to sign up on Pixel app. And it is totally free to sign up. And one thing I've learned from Mr. Dutch is instead of you your clients asking for your work and then you are trying to just send a lot of pictures or everything you know you can create your portfolio for free and then you just send your pixel link they check it out and then they see what they want to see without you running Elta Skelter. and another thing i would like to talk about today is we've known a lot of us know pixel or we, we offer value through webinars through the pixel learn platform so i'd like to announce to you that Coming this August, we would be having a workshop, a pixel workshop with three industry speakers in the photography industry. I won't tell you who they are, but one thing is, it is going to be super, super lit and amazing. We will be having three speakers. Three speakers are here. You might think of one, and probably you'll get it right. So, we're having the workshop coming this August. And then I'll, I'll share the link with us now so you can go through it and then see it for yourself. So, we're having the workshop. And one thing is, I would like you to go through it and then register for the workshop because it is going to be amazing. This is the best time. Remember what Mr. Nancy said earlier? If you need to pay for something, if you need to pay to learn something, pay to learn it. No knowledge sometimes. If you need to, there are opportunities out there, but having the right access to one is super important. And right now, 
we've got the access, like we have the access and we're showing you the way we are literally cutting the soap for you. So it's just for you to check it out and then sign up for the webinar, for the workshop rather. So I'll be dropping the link here for us to sign up. Please let me know if you have any question for, for me, if you have anything you want to ask, if you have questions for Stephen, for Mr. Richard, for Mr. Dotson, if you have anything you want to ask about anything, this is the best time to ask. Please kindly ask for we round up. Oh, someone said thank you, please. So thank you, Samuel, for joining. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is the best time to talk if you have something to say. And guess what? The Yellow Room series continues next, next month. So I hope you'll turn up for this. It's going to be better. So I hope you turn up for it. Tell your friends about it. So tell them what we're doing. Tell them how we're changing the narrative of photography in Africa in fact in the world spread the gospel of pixel to people and then one thing is put yourself out there network with people go on linkedin go on instagram connect with photographers connect with different photographers sign up on the app connect with join our community that's how you can meet us we have um hundreds of photographers in our community that's how you can meet with other people collaborate with them or oh, you feel, oh, you've not been getting jobs. Ask photographers, this is what I can do for you. I can edit, I can do this for you. Collaborate, network, we meet people. You should not work in the dark. You should not work in the dark. You should put yourself out there because you yeah, are a city set upon a hill that should not be eaten. So don't hide, put yourself out there. Thank you so much for joining us for this yellow series session. And I can't wait to learn from everyone next month again. Still, we hear from each other next month. Hello. Thank Hello. you. Hello. Okay. Hi, Ore. Okay, sir. Yeah, um, I just wanted to say, for those that are on the platform right now, um, they are free to call in. Um, I'll, I'll drop my number on the chat right now in regards to um, 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 consultation on how they can move and then also how they can identify clients around them if they're having any difficulties in those areas. So Pixel will do that. Um, they can call me. Um, I'll put my number up now in the chat and um, we can take it from there. Okay, so I'm sorry, Richard. Thank you, sir. So um, I'm gonna tell your heart, Stephen, I'm gonna tell your heart that about creating work for portfolio, is there a platform Pixel has to help get access to cameras? It is quite a challenge, major challenge, getting access to one. I'm sure Stephen can answer that. Hi, um, Omotayo. This is a great question. I mean, for every platform built, there are, there are things that are in stages, right? I mean, um, there are so many things that we want to do. I'm sure you are aware that Pixel are trying to do also um, asset financing. We, this is the one of the reasons why we even partner with Canon, right? I mean, all these things are something that are in the works, but it takes time for us to build these things and roll it out. So everything is going to come to pass, but it's going to take time. But it's going to something, it's something that is doable and we are going to do it, but it's not at this particular moment that we are right now. Thank you. Thank you so much, Stephen. Do we have Hello. any other questions? Right. Okay, Can sir, Mr. Dutton. Yes, sir. Uh, okay, about um, Omotayo or Stad Eugene. Okay, asking access to cameras. If you're talking about access to cameras, maybe, maybe you don't have a camera or maybe you're trying to use um, more bigger cameras to create good jobs for your portfolio. I think you should try as much as possible to, to network with um, people within your, within your locality. There will always be someone you can, you know, if you ask enough questions, I think there will always be someone you can rent gadgets from if you need um, some better gadgets to create work. Because 
even as a beginner photographer, there were times when I started seeing some events and I started seeing like, I need to do, I need to shoot this event in a different way so that it can bring out the work in a better form. I just, I, I rent cameras and some other lenses from people who do it as their business. I think for every, it depends on where you are actually, but for places like Lagos, Ibadan, and some other major places where photographers are, there will always be somewhere or a photographer you can you can rent from. And if it's about if it's about buying, then that is that is another that is another level to the base to it. But I think one when it comes to buying gadgets, I think one advice I give to people is just whatever you want to buy, please ensure it's what your business can pay so that you don't you don't put yourself in a tight corner. So that does it. Thank you so much, Mr. Dotson. That's great. Thank you so much, sir. Hello, all right. Okay, Mr. Richard. Sorry, let me just make a quick contribution. Um, when you don't have this, when it's a very important time for me. Um, I think you should first shoot with what you have. Everybody has a phone. Yes. You can create you can create a pre-shoot with your phone. Be like um, you're using your phone to create a storyboard. So those images you create with your phone will prepare you for the actual shoot to come. I don't know if you understand what I mean. Yes. You shoot something twice, you get it better in most cases when, than when you shoot it once. Because the key here is your eye. With your phone, you will see your limitations, but you at least you see the direction on which you're trying or what you're trying to cap capture, and you know how far you can go. Um, I completely agree with Mr. Mamiyali. There are people around you that you can get cameras from, but I want to emphasize not thinking free because um, uh, a lot of us, the free, <laughs> the free um, factor has a way of purging us. If you approach people with enthusiasm and passion on what you want to do, you'll be shocked that they may even, at least at one point in time, give you a nice, nice discount in regards to rentals. I don't know if you understand what I mean. Yes, I get it, people, yeah, people are always looking for, uh, okay, free. free. No, nobody will ever give you a camera for free. It just, I'm not saying to address that one person that might be thinking in that direction. This is a professional, um, what do you call it, modus operandi. So, and so we need to take it professionally. If you are approaching people for their cameras and all that, do it professionally. Let something give than thinking of, uh, can I borrow your camera and all that. The person will have more regard for you when you do that. And especially when you want to rent it, if he rents. That's my contribution. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Richard. And I hope um, Omotayo that answered your question. So I'd like to call it a day here. Yeah. Thank you for turning up. Thank you for coming. Oh, someone said I still have issues with my login. Can you please send a message, a private message to me? I'll send you my yeah, I'll send you my contact now. So I would, I would like to call it a day. Yeah, and then see you all next month for the next session. Thank you so much for turning up. Bye. Have a yeah. great day. Bye bye. Thank you. All right. Bye everyone. Bye, sir.